I'm Alexandra Samuel from Social Signal, and I'm going to talk to you about ManyMoon, a new task management program I discovered this week. It's a task management program rather than a project management program, but I think that's an interesting approach, and I'm going to show you why. If you go to My Tasks, that's the main page you'll probably hit when you first visit ManyMoon, you'll discover all the tasks you have waiting for you um, with a cross-project view. And what you see there is something you can sort by due date, by priority, by status. And right there on the page you have the option to see any comments associated with the task. So a threaded conversation can unfold. And you can even right here add your own comment or status update to what you've been working on. You can also use the main task view to edit your task in more detail. Anything from who it's assigned to, to document associations or additional comments. And because it doesn't have to load a whole new screen, this little pop-up appears very quickly and lets you make changes very quickly. You can also add a task from the main view of ManyMoon, either just a short version task, or by pressing Show Options, you can add a more detailed version of the task, including not just the name of the task itself, but also other key details like a due date using this really cool pop-up menu, um, or even add your due date to a Google Calendar. If you use Google Calendar to keep track of your projects, you can keep your due date there. You can add a project, uh, sorry, a time also for your Google Calendar due date, and uh, a priority. How high priority is this uh, task? You can add a document to your task, either one locally on your computer or a Google Doc if you've got an association with your Google account. You can add a comment here as well, so that when you first upload a task, you provide a description. And crucially, you can assign your task. If you've assigned a task to somebody before, it's remembered in the, the field. You can use this address box uh, pop-up to make assignments. You can also add people who aren't already in your system. So you don't have to add someone to a project before you can assign a task. You just add their email address, they'll get a task assignment. And you can even assign a task to multiple people, which is handy if uh, against the religion of some project managers. And you can, of course, notify the assignee that they've had this um, task assigned to them. All your task assignments show directly above the task entry field, so you can see the latest task you've created. And you can go directly to the project view of your task by clicking on the project associated with any task. That takes you to this view where you see the latest items, the bulletin that tells you about the latest items that have unfolded in your, in your project. You can also use that project view button down there. Tasks view within a project shows you all the tasks that are related to a given project. It's quite handy and it's probably the view you're most likely to use when you're managing a project. It lets you show not only all the tasks, but it lets you sort tasks by member um, or by task status or both. So I could just see Rob's open tasks. The milestones view takes the place of task lists in ManyMoon. And you use milestones to create lists of tasks and organize them just by creating a new milestone, giving it a name, and then giving it an optional due date. And if you just want to use it as a task list, you don't even have to create a due date. You can also edit any task directly from the Milestones view just by clicking on it and you get the same pop-up that you would see in the task view and you can make any changes or updates to your task. Adding tasks to a milestone is super easy. You just drag and drop. And that's in fact how I created my list of the things I loved about ManyMoon as well as my ideas for improving it. It was so easy to add tasks that it was easier to create it in ManyMoon. So I made a list of the things that I thought really have to be fixed. Important improvements that might be deal breakers or deal makers for us at Social Signal in terms of whether we use the tool. High value requests, things that aren't deal breakers but that we'd really love to see like dependencies for tasks or tags or GTD style contexts. Things like integration, outbound RSS, those are must haves for us. And then I had some ideas for nice to have. These are things that would make a little bit of a difference, you know, management level permissions, integration with Harvest, which is the time tracking program we love, 
um, a bit more documentation, drag and drop or uh, reordering of milestones themselves. I had some more ideas for features to consider. I wasn't sure if they were all a good idea necessarily, and I made a list of the documentation that I hope um, Many Moon will start providing. The jury's still out on whether Many Moon's going to be the right tool for us. And in fact, some people on my team do feel like crying just with the thought of trying out another piece of project management software, but they haven't looked at the long list of all the great things about Many Moon that you'll find here. Uh, on my task list. It was the longest list I had because there is so much I like about it from the snappy interface to the really smart socially oriented way of staying in touch with your colleagues to the fact that uh, it just has a nice clean interface that makes it easy to use. It was intuitive. Everything was where I wanted it to be and there were very few moments where I was perplexed by the functionality and that's saying a lot. You can keep track of our experiments with ManyMoon and other pieces of terrific collaborative software by visiting us at socialsignal.com. Thanks for viewing.